Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Water falls down this drive pipe, slamming the waste valve closed, sending a pressure wave into the tank, which then pressurizes and sends water uphill. In this video, I want to talk about standpipes. There are two reasons to use a standpipe. Now, what is a standpipe? It's simply a piece of pipe that sticks up out of the drive pipe. The two reasons, number one, to bring the source closer to the pump. If you have a long creek with not a lot of drop and you have to have two, 300 feet of drive pipe, the pump is gonna cycle so slow that it may stop. Adding that stand pipe will bring the source closer to the pump while still maintaining your original head pressure. That's the first reason, the most common reason. The second reason is, let's say you already have a bunch of bigger pipe and you want to use that up in the creek and then drop down to the size pipe you need for the size pump you have. Then you can use a stand pipe to go from the bigger pipe that you have to the pipe required for the pump size. And the pump will just use that first section of smaller pipe, but you'll still be able to have the original head pressure from up above. Enough talk, let me demonstrate. Okay, pretend with me here that this is the creek. The drive pipe is going down, and let's say it's 300 feet long to the pump. Now, obviously, this is not 300 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what a cycle time looks like with this amount of pipe, and then we will install a stand pipe to see how it affects the cycle time. I've already got this thing pressurized, so we should see this start up pretty quick. There we go. So you can see right there, it's cycling somewhere around once every second. Now that is actually ideal. So the amount of drive pipe length that we have here is a good length. Um, so what I'm gonna do is install the stand pipe right over here, and we should see this cycle a lot faster. I'm gonna install the stand pipe right here. Now ideally, you would want to put this at about the 100 foot mark away from the pump. 75 to 100 feet is the ideal spot. Obviously, none of my connections are complete here. Okay, the standpipe's gonna go right in here. The standpipe is just teed into the drive pipe, and you can see it goes up tall enough that the water level over in my source, right over here, is about right here. So I've got maybe a little over a foot of open air space. That's fairly important. Now, everything above the standpipe is now considered a supply line. So supply line comes down, tees into the standpipe, now this is the new drive pipe. So basically what I'm saying is this right here is your new water source. So the pressure wave is gonna find this point here and head back down to the pump. So hopefully we'll see a faster cycle now that we've brought the source closer. Yes, and we have seen a faster uh, cycle time. And now to demonstrate the second reason that you would use a standpipe, and that's if you have a long section of bigger pipe that you want to use first as a supply line, and then you would use your standpipe into a short section, anywhere from 25 to 100 feet of the size drive pipe you need for your pump. So in my case, half inch pump needs half inch pipe. So let me show you what it looks like to install bigger pipe, standpipe, drive pipe. I've got a one inch T that reduces down to a half inch standpipe. And that of course is going to rise up above the source level. And from there, it cuts down to half inch. And that's your drive pipe that goes however far to your pump. So that right there would allow you to reduce down from a bigger pipe to the required drive pipe size. I hope this video helped you to understand the two main reasons that you would want to install a stand pipe for your ram pump system. Basically, to recap, if you have a drive pipe that's longer than 100 feet, you need to put that stand pipe in at about the 100 foot mark 
and then you can carry on your supply line as far as you need and the ram pump will use that standpipe as the new source closer to the pump. And the other reason is if you already own a bunch of bigger pipe and you don't want to have to go out and buy new pipe, then you can use a much larger supply line and then reduce down at a standpipe to match your pump drive pipe size. Now, if you have less than 100 feet of drive pipe, adding a standpipe is not going to be uh, worth doing. It will actually increase the cycle time to uh, faster than once per second and make the system less efficient. So keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Seth with Land House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.